Welcome back. This video is part two of the chapter eight review. It'll be questions 21 through about 32. Let's begin. I said to always mark the angles that you know are congruent. Those two are congruent because of vertical. If these lines are parallel, alternating interior angles are congruent, which then makes those two sets congruent. You want X. X matches with, because it's across from the one marker, with the 12. All right, and then let's pick a number, 18. 18's got the double marker. It matches with 10, so 18 with 10. The 15, he's across from the, this marker. There's nothing across from there, so the 15 is never used. Cross multiply, X equals... Um, 216 over 10, which reduces to 108 over 5, or you can do the 21.6. Number 12, they're both right triangles, so we need to figure out how we're going to um, match them up. So let's draw two right triangles to begin with the exact same way. In the small triangle, we see this side 6, 8, and the hypotenuse is 10. And the very large triangle, hypotenuse is right here, which is x plus 8. And then 16 is the side that's up down, so there's not one here. That's beautiful, because now we can set up a proportion, because 16 matches with 6 as x plus 8 over 10. If you choose not to draw the two triangles out, you are going to get the wrong answer. Please do so. So in this case, when you do it, you'll end up with 160 is equal to 6x plus 48. Subtract it over. 112 is equal to 6x. So x equals, when you simplify it, equals you're going to get 56 over 3 when you simplify it, or 18 and 2 thirds. Number 12, still, once again, you see two angles are marked. Mark the rest verticals here, which means these two are angles are congruent here. X matches, he's across from this side, matches with the 12. And then the double marking here is 15. That one this time matches with the double marking 10. Same picture is there. Different angles are marked. Cross multiply, 10x is equal to 180. So x ends up equaling 18. Number 24, these two angles are congruent. There's that one. And then these two angles are congruent. So you're comparing the big one with the small one. You want AE, ED, and EB. So let's do AE and ED. So call this one x. So we have uh, 20 is to this side is 32. So 20 is to 32 as x is to the whole bottom side here. x is to the whole side, which is 24. Cross multiply, get x is equal to 15. So this piece here, so AE is equal to 15, which then makes EB um, equal to 24 minus 15, which that equals 9. And then if you want EB, you got to compare this triangle with that triangle. So once again, for EB, I would do 20 is to 32 as BE is to 16. Cross multiply in EB or BE is equal to 10. There's your three answers that we were looking for. Number 25, parallel lines. Why is this piece uh, right here? So we can do, um, I like the parallel line rule. 12 is to 18. 12 is to 18 as 20 is to y. So y ends up equaling 30 when you cross multiply. For x, you have to use the small triangle with the big triangle. So 12 has to match with 32, as 9 has to match with x. Cross multiply, x ends up equaling 24. Hopefully you're doing well so far. We talked about it in number 2 when things were matching. 
you had um, if ratio of sides, same as ratio of perimeters, which is the same as ratio of diagonals. So that means the ratio of medians is the same idea. One median is three, one median is four, a y is five, u one d f which is the whole thing, so it should match with side AC, so that would be a total of 10. So I would say 3 is to 4, because that's the ratio, 3 is to 4, as X is to 10. Cross multiply, uh, X ends up equaling 30 over 4, which reduces to 15 over 2. Number 27, you don't even need to draw pictures. This movie screen theater requires 20 feet wide, and the distance from the projection bulb is 100 feet. So the length of the theater is 100 feet. The film is 0.87 wide. Find the length of it. So match wide with wide, length with length. 20 to 0.87 is equal to 100 over x. Cross multiply, and you're going to get 87 over 20, or if you prefer, 4.35 inches, because they gave you a decimal to begin with, so give your answer in decimal. A fence post is 6 feet tall, cast a 5 foot shadow, so you got 6 feet, and you got a 5 foot shadow. Uh, at the same time, a tree casts a 30-foot shadow. Find x, 6 is to x, as 5 is to 30. Cross multiply, 36 feet, because they gave it to you in feet. So that is your answer. 29 and 30 are the parallel line rules. You want x. x ends up being this spot right here. You know that this whole thing is 6, so 6 is going to match with whatever's across from it. That's 10. So 6 is to 10 as x is to 5 like you wanted. So 30 equals 10x. X ends up equaling 3. You also want AB. AB is the whole thing. So then you could say, ooh, I knew this part was 6. This part is 3. 6 plus 3 equals 9. So AB ends up equaling 9 for the conclusion of that question. 30, you want AB. AB is here, matches with the same on the opposite side. So you have 8 and 2, that's 10, and 5 and 6 is 11, so that's 21. This side is X, so I would match 21 is to X, as 4 is the only spot here, so 5 is to 4. 5x ends up equaling 84 divided by 5, and you got 84 over 5 for your answer for the 16.8 that you see in the answer column. Let's continue. 31, you know that AB equals 18. They want you to find AC. That's what I would call X. Well, 18 matches with one on the other side. That's 12. 5 and 7 add together make the 12. So when you do that, you match 12 is to 18 as 5 is to X. And you get your answer of 90 over 12, or the simplified answer is 15 over 2 for AC. Number 32, parallel line rule again. This time AC is 16, and BD, these two overlapping, is 14. Well, 16 matches with 9 plus X, and the 14 matches with X plus 6. Let's set it up. You will see 16 over 9 plus x is equal to 14 over x plus 6. Cross multiply 16x plus 96 is equal to 14x plus 126. 
subtract it over 2x, subtract this this way, 2x is equal to 30, so x ends up equaling 15 for that question. We will stop there with this video, and we will pick up 33 through um, 43 in the next video.